In this video, I'm going to show you a really simple flooding combination that's actually going to be really effective for the current meta and some of the things that we're seeing uh, and the way that people like to try to defend U-trips. We're going to show you a really nice little counter. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's free to do that. And if you want to learn my entire Why Off Trips Pats or U-trips offensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. Patreon is only $10, and that is where you get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. I think U-Trips is one of the best formations this year for attacking the meta, which the meta is to basically send pressure and play man coverage behind it. The play we're going to show you in this video um, is really good at beating the Blitz, but it's also really good at attacking man-to-man um, -man as well. So the play we're going to be breaking down is the play Scat out of the Wild Trips Pats. And we're going to show you again, real simple setup. So uh, I want to start with Spinner and uh, show you how to beat Spinner. I do think Spinner is one of the better defenses this year. Um, you know, so we're going to show you how to stop it. So their user chances are going to be right here. And then the easiest way for them to adjust is probably do something like this. Okay. So the setup that we're going to have is we're going to C route our outside receiver with outside apprentice. If you don't have outside apprentice, put him on a fade, okay, or a streak, easy, easy, okay, um, we're going to slant our solo receiver, we're going to out route our tight end, and then we're going to motion this guy across the formation, now, you, uh, U trips is really good because the motion can mess up a lot of stuff. So if you look at this real quick, you're going to see that just basic level adjustments, there's nobody manned up on the running back and there's two people guarding the tight end. If they don't make any adjustment whatsoever, we're going to be able to quick throw this running back wheel and we're going to be able to easily beat spinner that way. So they're going to have to make some kind of adjustment uh, to be able to stop us, okay? So to illustrate that, we're going to actually leave the stock and kind of like go through and show you what they're going to have to do. So you're going to see here, this is what the play art looks like. Chances are they're going to just simply take this player and man him up on the running back, and then they're going to try to like basically user him themselves, okay? Um, this is still an issue. The running back is still open because he's out leveraged them to the flat, right? This little quick throw wheel is really good. So don't just like assume, well, he's manned up and that stopped it. That's not quite going to solve their problem. Um, what they're going to basically have to do is with their user, they're going to have to jet out here to guard the running back. Okay, now chances are that might mean they put a hard flat to that linebacker. That's a pretty good adjustment, in my opinion, um, because they're banking on the fact that the pressure is going to come in. Now, if they're a good player, uh, chances are they're going to baseline and press as soon as you do that motion. If they don't, that's kind of a bad thing for their pressure. Um, but you'll see here, just a simple baseline or press. Again, we're just imitating them running out to go guard the running back. So if they go guard the running back, that's going to leave the middle of the field open. And we can just step up quick and hit this slant real quick. He's not going to get jammed. If they want to blitz that slot corner, we can hit that slant really quickly. And, and that's going to be a, a great option for us, okay? Okay, so the next thing that I want to show you is they're going to adjust to your slant. So the way they're going to adjust to your slant is this guy right here is going to drop into the middle of the field to try to take away that quick throw to the middle, okay? Uh, now, and then you see how we're going to kind of like, again, just simply take this step by step and show you how this can really help uh, against the current meta. So, you know, they do something like this. Now the middle, if I, I look to the running back, that's taken away. Then I look quick middle, that's taken away. Then I want to look to the tight end. Running back, nope, boom, nope, but now I got my out route, and you see how effective this is. So they have to have, they can't defend the whole field, and that's what makes this play so good, is it attacks the whole field. Okay, so that is a really, really good setup specifically um, for spinners. So again, as we work through some of these basic adjustments they're going to have to make, if they're going to send both corners, okay, they have to. Uh, run out and go guard the running back. They, they basically have to, especially when you motion over. So they're just so out leveraged. They have to. Use, they have to have this guy over here to go guard the running back. This guy is going to be the wild card. He might be on a flat. He might be on a middle. 
um, you know, a middle zone. Let's just assume that he's on a hard flat, okay? Now, again, let's say that they kind of get wise to your tight end quick throw. And so what they're going to do is they're going to drop this guy into the yellow zone in the middle of the field. And then they're going to they're going to um, drop this guy. Now they're at this point their blitz is compromised, right? Um, their blitz is compromised. Okay, so they're only sending four. So we have a pretty good chance of picking up the pressure. And then this is where you're also going to see if we have time. This C route on the right side, even though it's not as good as it is on the left side, you can still throw this against man, especially if you have short out a lead on that player, especially if that player is good. Um, you can still throw that C route against man to man. So again, we've kind of taken the ability for them to just sit and blitz us away. Um, you know, they're only able to send four. Chances are we've got a pretty decent chance of picking that up if they only send four. Um, you know, and they're still struggling because their user has to go defend the running back. So because of that, he's out of the play completely. And now we're going to have a high low over the middle of the field. So let's say that this defender is the low defender and he takes away the slant. Um, and let's say they have perfect adjustments, right? We should be able, we should be able to throw that post route right on the cut. Um, so you have the post as well coming back over the middle of the field. So again, if they're, you know, adjusting and they just have really good adjustments, uh, and it's going to take really good adjustments. Okay. Um, then what you should hit as a last resort, uh, because they have to go to the guard running back, they're going to be conflicted because they're going to want to go guard that post. Um, but they have to stay on the running back. Otherwise we could just throw the running back. So what you'll do is you're going to hit that post right there. And you see that that could be a potential big time play for you um, against this. If you have a slot apprentice, um, you could take Godwin and put him on a crosser. Um, I don't think that's a terrible uh, concept. I think, you know, it's a little bit more of a drop back, you know, but you have kind of a play that looks like this here. Um, it's a little bit better if you have, if they're not blitzing you very much. Uh, but anyway, you see how good this is. So this is a really simple play that you can call that's going to beat the meta, beat man defense really, really well. And um, if you want to learn more about U-Trips, make sure you join my Patreon. Uh, the link to do that is in the description of this video. For just $10, you'll be able to get access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive eBooks. Uh, we just released a brand new defensive eBook this week. I actually released a dollar eBook um, this week for you guys. We have 13 eBooks in the Patreon, including U-Trips, as well as several others. If you want to check all that stuff out, the link is in the description down below. Again, 10 bucks gets you access to everything. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you at the Patreon page.